Hello boys and girls, let's talk about our next lesson. This is going to be a really cool lesson about yourself. So it's a selfie. It's a picture of you holding a phone and inside the phone is a drawing or painting of yourself in your most favorite place on earth. So the challenge will be to draw the hands and the phone in proportion and then inside the phone draw yourself with a background of your choice. So I'm going to share this really cool book that um, has incredible illustrations, landscape of different places on Earth. It's called The Boy Who Spoke to the Earth. of our project which will be a selfie using a phone so the first step is to borrow a phone from an adult in your house it can be any type of phone but it will really help us with the shape of the phone so the end will be something like this imagine that you're holding your phone and that in here will be a picture of you so we're gonna have our hand on the paper like that so in order to copy this, I'm going to first position the phone right here. And I'm going to trace the outline all the way around. Now before I do, I draw the hand, I'm going to actually sketch, imagine that this is um, the outside of the phone. So that your picture in the end will be a little bit bigger. Then we'll work in the for the inside in a little bit. But basically, we're going to copy the hand part, which are the fingers, thumb, holding the hand. And your challenge is to really look at the proportions of your finger, the spacing between the finger, the way the fingers look. So you really, really have to focus how they look, not how you think they look. So I'm going to draw this a little bit in a faster motion so that it doesn't take too long on the video. Uh, but this actually takes a while. Just holding and sketching little by little. Take your time and go back and erase. But the, the challenge is actually to hold your phone and to copy at the same time. So your eyes go from paper to what you're copying, which is basically your hands. Alright boys and girls, I'm now ready to add the selfie inside the cell phone. So I'm going to first add a line, which is the bottom of the phone, and a button. This is in the older phones, but I just like the way it looks. And then I'm going to draw myself, so or draw yourself. Start with the letter U for the shape of the face. And then I like to do sleepy eyes and one on the other side and then draw the upper eyelids and then circle for your eyes and then your pupil which will be just a little small dot and then we're going to do an easy nose the I like to do a smile first. Now you can just stay like this if you like, or if you wanted, you can add the upper lip, eyebrows, mouth, neck, 
can show this. Now remember you're holding your phone, so this one will go out this way. And then the other one, maybe I'll just let it go down that way. This is your arm. And then this one goes here. And down. So I'll just make it kind of simple. If you want to make it more elaborate, you can for sure. And then neckline. This is going to be just a simple t-shirt. Now for the hair, um, start with your hairline, which is just right here. From one side of the face to the other. I'm going to have a little bit of a line here for parts parting the hair. And then at the top here is the head and the hair. So if it's a boy haircut or short hair, then it's going to go just about here. If you want to have hair going down your shoulders, then this is going to be, this line will go all the way here. I'm going to add some ears. And I think that's about it for now. Now, horizon line, now this is the place where you decide what kind of background, what is your most, most favorite place on, on Earth that you love. I'm going to choose um, a sunset. But you could have a background with mountains. You can have you know anything you want in your background. Just to think about the most favorite place. So if I'm doing an ocean scene, I'm going to have my horizon line here, which separates the sky and the sea. And I'm going to have a sun about here. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie, this is a thin Sharpie, and just Sharpie those lines. So you want to try to make your eyes be the same, look in the same direction. So the space is very small. Uh, you know, try to keep your lines really simple. Maybe a little bit of texture in the hair. Put my ears. If you want to add any accessories, you can. Neckline is really important. Maybe a little bit of a stitch. This is just a deck, you know, decoration. Let's not forget the line that separates. And this is the on and off button. Horizon line. My sun. And maybe some wiggly lines. This is kind of like for the reflection in the ocean. Then I'm going to take you know, erase all my cancel lines. And then we'll be ready to either paint or color. So I'm going to be using watercolor paints in the next section of the lesson. But again, you could use pencils, markers, whatever you have at home. Hello boys and girls, I'm now ready to paint uh, my selfie. So I'm going to actually use some watercolors, but remember if you do not have watercolors, you can use colored pencils, crayons, uh, markers, whatever you have at home. So um, this is just a basic watercolor uh, box. And I have three sizes of paint brushes, my ballerina brush, medium brush, and bigger brush that we'll use for the background. So I'm going to start with the part of the sunset with, I can use actually um, my medium brush. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow for the sun. So when you're using watercolor, just add a little bit of water. And in small areas, I don't have to add water first. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to do my reflection here right away so that I don't have to come back later. So here's my reflection. 
And then when I change to the next color, I clean my brush. Actually, I should have a little bit more yellow around, like I have a halo going around the sun. And again, don't forget it here. Clean my brush, and then I'm going to go to orange. Now, I always work with another piece of paper here so I can test my colors before I go to paper. So here's an orange. And I'm going to, do you see how I touch my yellow? So you want it to bleed into each other. You don't want to have a line. Here it is. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red, just on the edge. And I add my yellow too. brush and I'm going to find a nice blue for my sky. That's a pretty blue. And I'm just going to add it here. So it could bleed into each other, which you see what's, what's happening right here. But I really don't mind it um, because that's kind of what happens in real life. Now for our car, um, ocean is right here. So I'm going to use the same blue, but you could have used a different blue. Because usually the ocean and the sun are a little bit different. So I'm just going to do this. Around as well. Don't forget the small space here. If you have too much water, Maybe I'm going to make my ocean a little bit darker. So I go back in. Oh, I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I come back. And I'm going to work on the skin tone. So we don't have any skin tone here. I'm going to try to make one here to see how it looks, a little bit of water. Maybe this one is kind of an orangey color. And then I'm gonna add maybe a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and maybe a little bit of white. So it's kind of a blend. And I'll add a little bit more white and there's my skin color. So I'm going to do the same thing on hand. So I'm going to add water first. And adding water buys me time. Don't forget the wrists. And I'll do this part a little bit later. So I'm going to layer the same way we did our sunset. So when you're working with watercolor, you need to work fast because it dries really fast. Clean my brush, and I'm going to go to my orange. And put a little bit of red here. And then a little bit of white. So the white really, really helps in kind of blending all those colors to make the skin tone. And if your skin is a little bit darker, you could add a little bit of brown to this. And now I'm going to draw right here. Actually, since I have this skin color on my brush, actually, let's finish this part. Now, I'm going to add a little bit same to the same process of water. A little bit of orange. This is kind of an orangey, more like a yellow, yellow orange. And then this one is a little bit more orange. Now this is a smaller area. Uh, 
polish. If I have too much water on, I just want the paper to get in a little bit. And and then some white. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to take a little bit up from here. I have some extra with my ballerina brush I just changed. And I'm going to use that to take some extra to just add to my face right away. So I can use this for my skin color. My t shirt. Go around your eyes, over your nose. Remember, if you used um, Sharpie, it's a waterproof marker. Don't forget your ears. Well, watch this. This is the background bleeding into my the arm here, but it's okay. Now, I'm basically done for this part. I'm going to work on the background, large area. To give this this part here a chance to dry, but I have to be careful here. This is still wet. So I'm gonna take my big brush, add water everywhere. Actually, not everywhere. You, you wanna be around. We go around um, the fingers without touching because this is still wet. And I'm going to choose a pretty blue. There's another blue here. Let me try this one. Not this one here. I think I like this one. I want it really fast. And you want to work with a large piece of paper or a placemat under your area. And I'm not going to bother going in here right now. I What I'm trying to do is get this area as fast as I can. And then I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. And bring it a little bit closer. Water, there was no water in here, so I wanted to keep the shade of background blue to be consistent. Now I can see that this is bleeding a little bit. Maybe I won't go over it really fast. Alrighty, now I see that I have um, a color of my hair. Maybe I'll do a little bit of light brown. A little bit of water I added. And this is the crown. Now with this type of uh, Painting, you can work in sections. So you, I could have let it dry and then come back a little bit later. 
if you have time. It's good to let it dry in between. See what color would I like for <clears throat> the shirt? Maybe a pretty magenta. And if I wanted to, uh, the, if I wanted the watercolor to be a little bit darker, then I'm not gonna apply it in the water. And since it's again a small area. Now at this point I'm going to let it dry because I, I want everything to be dried before I paint the case of the foam. Alright boys and girls we're going to continue with the last step to finish our painting and which will be the first we're going to add some shadows using uh, pencils. So um, in my hand if I take my phone again and look at, look at uh, my hand this way, I can see some shadows which will make the hand a little bit more 3D. So with a dark color, I'm going to go around and just add some shadows where I think is necessary. And then I will color the outside of the case uh, with watercolors. So I'm going to work on that and I'll see you in a little bit.